Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. My name is Megan, if you're new, and welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to talk about calibrating your Cricut. You'll need this if you plan to do any kind of print, print and cutting techniques. Um, you'll need that to make sure that your Cricut will read your registration marks correctly in order to cut out your images. So let's get started. You're going to go up to the top left corner and click those three lines and come down to where it says calibration. Once you click that, what we're calibrating today is print and cut. You won't need to calibrate these unless you have a Cricut Maker. I have the Cricut Maker 3, so I have these other two options available here. What we're working on today is print and cut, so we'll select that now. The first thing you'll need to do is select your printer. Once you select your printer, you'll be able to print the calibration sheet to go to your machine, and we'll do that now. Once you print your calibration sheet, you'll want to place your sheet in the top left corner of your mat and then select continue. On the next screen, you'll want to select the machine that you have. I have the Cricut Maker 3, so it's already selected for me. Make sure you turn your machine on so that the system can identify your machine. Make sure your calibration sheet is aligned with the top left corner of your mat and load it into your Cricut. Once you've loaded it into your Cricut, your Cricut will then read your registration marks so that it can test out your cut. It says, without unloading the mat, examine the cut lines around the small square in the middle. Does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? Yes or no? Check your middle square right now. So the outside line is the registration marks, this outside line. So what we're checking for here is did the Cricut cut all the way around evenly on this square? Yes or no? Continue performing all of the cuts all the way around until everything is complete. Now that everything's complete, you should have one cut line on each line of this paper. You should have one cut line on each number and also each letter. What we're looking for here is which cut is directly on each line. If you take a look at your numbers and letters, which cut is directly on the line that it should be on. For mine, my perfect cuts are on number line 11 and letter line M. Yours will be, will probably be completely different from mine and that's perfectly fine. Once you take a look at your calibration sheet, 
and you determine which cuts look perfect to you, you will then choose which number on the sheet was perfect and which letter was perfect on the right. For mine, it was 11 and the right side was M. When you are done, select continue. Let's take a look at the way it cut our image out and see if we're happy with it. And here is the finished product of our cut. Are you okay with the way that this cut out? I think that we had some issue right here and that could be the way that I loaded it onto the mat, which matters, which is why I said in the beginning to make sure that it is lined up correctly. Because as you can see on this side, it's cut perfect. On the bottom, it's cut perfect. On the top, it's cut perfect. On the side over here, it's cut off just a little bit. But I think for my machine, that's okay. For yours, are you okay with the way that it cut your square out? Yes or no? Lastly, it will ask, are you happy with your cut? Which means, are you okay with the way that the Cricut cut the image out? Yes or no? If you're okay with the way your Cricut cut out your image, then you can stop here. If you're not, then you can go ahead and print out another calibration sheet and go through the steps again and make sure that you choose the right number and letter in order for it to cut out correctly. If everything looks good, we can stop here. Thank you so much for watching.